Hello, hello. I'm Frank Pleasant, the CEO of Viro, here in my home office today. I'm with Dale, and we're going to interview him on how he's getting listings in business in this super competitive market uh, at the time of this recording as we're heading into the spring of 2022. Very low inventory. Uh, the Fed just announced they're probably going to start raising interest rates. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> All right. And Dale's been a client for a long time and has doubled down deeply on his database and has probably had, I don't know, thousands of people come at him and pitch him for <laughs> what he should spend his money on for lead generation and, you know, getting business. And viral is one of the things he decided to settle on. So this isn't a sales pitch as viral marketing as it is a sales pitch that you should probably take nurturing your database seriously. So Dale, you ready for a good interview today? Absolutely. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. So take us back to when, so first off, a couple of questions to set the platform here so people know who you are. How long have you been selling real estate? This is my 42nd year. Okay. 42nd year. 42nd year, right? <laughs> yeah. I know it's a long time. I know, I know it was that long. That's a long time, man. That's a long time. I mean, how many thousands of people have tried to call you to sell you stuff? Oh, gosh. You know, thousands <laughs> and thousands. I've, I've wasted half a million dollars on just finding out what works and what doesn't, you know? So people can learn from my mistakes. When did you first hear about viral and maybe you should step your game up a little bit with database marketing? I mean, that was no secret to you that you need to probably do something in your business, but you may want to step up the game of technology, but take me back to when you realize you had an unsolved problem or an unmet need that maybe viral can help you. Right. So, uh, it was at a Keller Williams family reunion one year and viral was there and also uh, another video company. And I actually, coincidentally, I use both of them both for separate purposes. Um, so, you know, with viral, I, I realized that the, the, what was coming because I'm a marketer. Um, what was coming was going to be video. And I realized at that point that whenever I watch a video, it's more powerful to me than just reading something. So uh, it was something I realized I needed to get into, wanted to get into, and needed something to reach out to my database on a monthly basis in order to keep them engaged with me and keep me at that top of the mind consciousness. How much business do you do, Dale? Uh, you know, typically this year, I think we just we just had our numbers come out from last year. We did about 37 million. Um, and, you know, that's... And where does most of it come from? Most past clients, I would assume? A lot of past clients, you know, in real estate, we have a very, uh, very active market here, but people are always moving in and moving out. They'll do a three to five year stint with a petroleum company, and sometimes they'll go back um, overseas. And what's the market again for the audience? Uh, the It's petroleum-based. Well, what, where do you, where's your city? What city is this in? Oh, Katy, Texas. Got it. Katy, Texas. And uh, Katy has doubled in size in the past 15 years. So it, it's a it's a growing marketplace. Uh, but, you know, with, with viral, it allows me to stay in front of people. And uh, I hear, yeah, I saw your video the other day all the time from people. Whenever I see people in the grocery store, I, uh, I work the immediate area around my office and then uh, going west from here about four miles. So I, I, I stay close to the area where I live in and, and the zip codes, the two zip codes that I'm in are some of the biggest zip codes in the entire country. So uh, it works very well whenever I'm marketing to those two zip codes. So viral marketing um, allows me to um, keep in touch with the people whose information I gather. And uh, I, I do another uh, thing to gather that information. I have a, a newspaper that I mail out to about 13,000 households every month. And I point them to the website. Well, once they get into the website using one of the things that uh, I offer or feature, then I come behind with viral marketing. And once they get into my database, viral marketing just keeps me in front of them all the time. And I love that. You know, you said something there. I've done, it might be a thousand interviews in my career with real estate professionals. Maybe it seems high, but maybe it's, it's definitely up in that range. And you pick up patterns, especially with guys like you that have been doing this a long time and see fads come and go, Right. It's direct mail to a farm monthly, if not twice a month, <laughs> all right, of a fairly sizable amount, you know, because marketing doesn't create motivation. You have to, it kind of finds it. 
So you have a 13,000 person farm and that's for your habit nets. And then you meet people and you put them in your database. Those are your Mets. And you put them on a legitimate 36 touch, not just sending out a bunch of canned crap. Is that pretty much it? What am I, what am I, what am I missing, Dale? All right. That's pretty much it. You know, you listen to a lot of people say, well, mailing, they don't work anymore. You know, mail outs don't work anymore. And you know, that can be true if you don't have the right message in there. Um, you have with a mailer card, because I did a lot of mailer cards. I started out mailing to 200 people when I first got into the business. I'm up to 13,000 now. My goal is 20,000, which we're going to try to bite that off by the end of the year. Uh, but the mailer cards, you have about a seven second exposure. And if you have the right message on there, that seven second exposure may stick. However, uh, with the newspaper I send out, you know, it has shelf life. And then, like I said, I come behind them uh, based on that newspaper when they provide their information for me. And then viral marketing just, you know, it's the, it complements, yeah. And viral marketing complements it so well. And, uh, you know, with the, with the videos you guys do, I, I have a uh, protest your property tax service that I do every year. And typically I'll have 150 to 200 people request for me to help them protest your property taxes. Oh, yeah. I, Dale, I, where can someone go? Where's the landing page for that? Is that on your website? drtaxprotest.com. drtaxprotest.com. drtaxprotest.com, right. I mean, you, with, with how prices are going up and they're reassessing their values with the pre- – dude, you're going to get slammed, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got a good <laughs> script for it. So you know, it. it's a sticky script. Makes people, uh, makes people do it every year uh, about – you know, I have a lot of people that do it every single year. And, and the, the 150 to 200 people that I get every year are the new people. I mean, there are about another 300 people that I do it for every single year. So I'm doing all these property tax protests. Um, the good news is I'm getting all this contact information. The bad news is it's free. The other good news is it takes me about three minutes to help them do a property tax protest because I have it so streamlined. And uh, once they come into the database for that, then it's viral marketing. Gosh, so that's so that's the call to action. You know, protest your taxes. Go to, go to, go to the website. Go to the landing page. Put your information on. Yeah, and then you just drip on them. Right, just drip on them. You know what a great call to action. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna add that. That's that's cool, man. Like we have, you know, find out what your home is worth. Pretty typical call to action, right? You have a, you know, search all homes for sale on my website, pretty common, right? Or maybe even niched out, like search all ranches for sale or homes of the pool, right? Um, You have get a guaranteed offer on your home or get an instant offer, you know, kind of one of those uh, instant offer uh, services out there where you can uh, back up by like an institutional buyer and you probably come in at 85 to 90% of what it's worth, but they get speed. Uh, Attend one of my seller workshops. Right. You know, I'm teaching that now. Good. Uh, you know, I, I attended your your coaching and join our team workshop uh, last year. And um, oh, you're in the recruiting course. Yeah, the recruiting. Oh, course. yeah, that's, that's right. What, that's yeah. what you call it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm doing one seller workshop a month um, and I'm doing one agent. I'm, I've opened, opened a coaching company. That's the main reason why uh, I took your course was to open open a coaching company. I've done that. Uh, been in business now for about 45 days, have two coaching clients already, and I make uh, the videos aimed at that database, you know, other agents, getting them to uh, hire me as a coach. And I do agent seminars as well. Like the three-hour, we teach about like the three-hour business planning workshops. Yeah. Yeah. So I did my first paid workshop. Isn't that so exciting when someone pays for a ticket for a workshop? It doesn't hold a candle to a real estate commission, but man, that 20, 30 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it worked out really well. So, so, so seller workshop, that, so one of these called action. So seller workshop and also, you know, join my team or come get my agent training. Right. If you want to get a career. And then I love this other call to action of um, protest your taxes because that's a homeowner that's thinking about their home value. Right. So this is how many new ones I got last year. That's how many protest private taxes. And I put these on my desk. They, they call in or uh, this year and last year I did the, um, 
a video for that. And I, and I run that video twice a month because it gives them just that little reminder, that little reminder. And if I can just eke one or two more out of there, you know, it's worth it. And uh, once they get into that little, that little realm there, then they're, they're kind of that. How many of those, how many of those convert to, to listings when someone comes in from the top of the funnel to protest your taxes? Is it a good conversion rate? I mean, it's, it is a good conversion rate because does it find motivation to sell with that type of offer? Well, I do get a lot of, yeah, you helped me protest my property taxes and now I'm ready to sell. Yeah. I like people. you. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I do it. You know, um, I've been in this business long enough to realize that you're everyone that you come into contact with or get their contact information is not going to buy or sell a house this year, or maybe even next or maybe for three or four years. But you stack those people up at the top of your funnel and give them something to remember you by for long enough. And pretty soon they start falling through that, that funnel and turn into a, a seller or a buyer. Yeah. So it's probably a, there's probably a big ad in your newspaper to go to this website to protest your property taxes. Right. And something that's kind of unique with uh, with viral marketing is when people move away, unless they request to be taken off of my email list, I leave them on there. And just yesterday, we had some people about five years ago that were uh, transferred over to Dubai. Well, guess what? Yesterday, they called us and said, hey, we're moving back. Yeah, I'm moving well, back. We're, we're coming back and we want to buy a house. Great. So, yeah, great stuff. So you never know um, just exactly how it's going to work, but it absolutely works. So you picked a high turnover farm around your office, or actually it's probably just sounds like it's more based on convenience. <laughs> a 13,000 near you, right? Well, yeah, 13,000 near me because I see these people out and around. Why 13,000? Uh, because that's what I can afford right now. Is that EDDM or are you going uh, postage? Uh, that is on carrier routes. Got it. Okay. Fair enough. So you're picking a geographic area, like a zip code, neighborhood, hit them every month. They're seeing you call to action, the newspaper, maybe come to my solo workshop, call to all these different call to actions, how to get involved with you, all driving back to the website where you get the opt-ins. And then you put them on the 36 types of viral and that's how the, you keep the relationship alive when you can't do it in person or on the phone. Right. And you know, the when we're talking about viral, a lot of people think we're just talking about videos. And... Um, Three or four times a year, you guys come up with a uh, just a text email that kills. Um, I've had uh, more than a hundred leads where I I gather information, contact information from people from the text information or the text emails that you guys have written and, and shoot out. It's a uh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you guys have some great writers, and the people who edit the videos are phenomenal. Thank you. It means a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You've been a client for a long time, man. How do you manage to stay a paying customer when the turnover rate is so high <laughs> in this industry? Uh, you know, I have a saying. Uh, in my business, I burn my bridges because I'm not going back. I burn my bridges. I bite off more than I can chew. I paint myself in a corner. So I only have one direction to go. And, you know, that's that's the type of person I am. I, I don't leave myself an exit or an escape. And um, I, I think a lot of people get into this business think, well, if it doesn't work, I can go do this or I can go do this. And, you know, I, I'm not like this. This is what I do. This is what I, I'll do probably for about the next four, four and a half years. Um, at that point, my ranch will be paid for. And I plan on moving up there and doing coaching. Until I get tired of coaching. You'll be a great coach. You'll be a great coach. Thank you. Hope so. Um, how do you know viral marketing works? Because like these people are already in your database. It's not like viral marketing is a lead source, right? So when you pay that fee every month, and let alone we're hassling you to shoot a video, so you have the money and the time cost, right? And probably even in many respects, the ego cost of like, eh, someone you know, yelled at me in the email, are they unsubscribed? How do you, how do you justify all those costs? Uh, my advertising budget, uh, some people shudder to think, but my advertising budget is $10,000 a month and I spend it as wisely as possible. And I have 
bought and tried and failed out a lot of what I call shiny objects. Whenever um, something new comes out the first place, and I think the easiest target for uh, these salespeople to try it out is in the real estate industry. And uh, real estate agents are, they always have good intentions, but they make a lot of mistakes. And so did I until, you know, I was in the business long enough. And, you know, you, I gave myself a time to start, an amount to spend on it to see if it worked or not, and a time to quit if it didn't work. And I keep the things that work. I get rid of the things that don't. But um, as far as knowing whether or not it's working, um, you know, I mentioned before, you know, I have people that will see me in the grocery store. Yeah, you know, I saw your video the other day. It's a great video. Uh, and so just people like that. And when I show up to their door, too, um, for a listing appointment, I'll get a lot of, you know, I see your videos all the time. And, you know, they're great. And, I, you know, I appreciate you doing that. And then you had the lead generation emails that go out. The lead generation On emails that. that go out, right? Do you, then you get the open and click report of the people watching your videos. Do you ever do anything with that? Um, I look at it. However, uh, I'm the I'm the kind of agent where you know I've got so much going on. I don't have a lot of time, so you know I automate a lot of things. If I have a uh, if I have a, a video that is geared toward specifically what I call now buyers, and they react to that video uh, by opening it up. Um, then I'll give them a call and, uh, I'll say, Hey, you know, I, I saw you watch my video on, you know, the six most important things to do if you're selling your home this year. And I'm calling to touch base with you to see if you'd like me to come out and speak more with you about that. You know, my goal is to always get my foot in the door. Um, whenever you get contact information, it's contact information without a face a lot of the time. However, if I can pop by and meet them for five or 10 minutes, then that's even more powerful than the video. So, you know, it's like a, an, an entree to get out into their house. Let's talk about some of the messages you said that are working. So I, I really like how you use direct mail. I'm a huge fan of um, the best haven't met marketing is direct mail. I mean, you probably agree with me on that, right? Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a veteran of the industry there saying that. And then when they become a Met, when they respond or call you or opt into a form or whatever, you put them on basically viral or something like it. We talked about those various call to actions, and I love the protester taxes call to action. What are other messages that are stimulating response in the market right now? Maybe to initially generate the lead or just even win the listing, the listing presentation? So I did a uh, video on... Beware of seller traps in a seller's market. And uh, I, I received several inquiries on that video and a few emails about it. Um, that, was, that was a good lead generator. Also, um, and this is a, a good question that every realtor gets. When is the best time to sell my house? And, you know, a lot of realtors will come back and say, well, the best time to sell your house is in the summertime, which is true to an extent. Um, you know, my standard canned answer is the best time to sell your house is whenever it makes the most sense for you to sell your house. And that's something that, it, you know, it's just a fresh answer that people get. That's not the same answer that everyone else gives them. So uh, that's another good one, of course. You know, whenever you are talking about home values, you know, I always put a time stamp. You know, do you know how much your home is worth today? Home values have increased over the past 18 months. Do you know how much your home is worth today? And, you know, every, every one of these, none of them is the magic silver bullet, but all together, they add up to be the response that I'm looking for. Um, you know, I have, um, events like shred day. I sponsor a shred day where we get a shred truck, shred your taxes, shred everything, whatever you want to shred, bring it to the office. All you have to do is get this free ticket by entering your contact information and we'll email it to you. Right. So what are some other good events you do to shred day? We do shred Give day. So in my newspaper, I have a coloring contest for children and every month I give away $25. So on the coloring contest picture, when they're 
you know, the, the children color it, they send it in and guess what it has on there? Their name, their address, their phone number, their email address. So the coloring contest is you know, the flying under the radar to get the, you know, get them on the database. And then I go out to their house and uh, I have this big check that says pay to the order of and their name. And we get a picture of them on there. Oh, with the kid? Yeah, with the kid. And oh, then wow. I have $25 bills. And I'll, you know, have the, the child hold their hands out and count it with me and we'll count through it. And I'll cut some jokes going from, you know, starting at one all the way to 25. And then I'll ask them, what are you doing? You know, what are you going to do with all this money? And then what we do is uh, frame their picture with a certificate of being a winner. And it's already framed so they can hang it on their wall. And it, it's right there. I'm in their house now. And, you know, I don't know how many parents, if any, ever throw away that framed picture. No, no, no it's <laughs> there, right? Dude, you came over and did that for my kids. I'd be like, this guy's incredible. Yeah. So, uh, and it's funny um, because we'll have people, if they don't get a newspaper, they'll ask, you know, well, what didn't get a newspaper this month, they'll actually call in. And when you they know, call in. That's when you know the content's strong. Right. Uh, whenever they call in. Uh, of course, we get their contact. Let me make sure you're going to get it from now on. All I need is your your address and your phone number and your email address. So just just more just more gathering. So you're spending money on the newspaper. You're spending money on viral. What's a couple other things you're spending money on to get business? You have the events. Um, well, you know what bomb bomb is. Um, whenever I that's your one to one videos. One to one videos. Yeah, another another powerful thing. And you know, I I I started viral before I started bomb bomb. And I thought, well, if I'm doing it to everyone in my database, what if I sent out a message whenever someone calls to list their home with me? Whoever takes the call, and we have one person who takes all those listing calls. We have like a fifty questionnaire page. They ask them all the questions on that. And as soon as they hang up the phone. They get on bomb bomb and send them out a thank you for calling us to talk about selling your home video that I made. It's it's literally within one minute after they hang up the phone. So, you know, my goal is to shoot them out that email as soon as possible. Same thing with the property tax protest. Um, I do the property tax. Second the lead comes in, you send the video. Right. Every time. How dramatically does that improve conversion? Uh, pretty Again, dramatically. Actually, talk to you. Well, yeah. you know, I've, I've uh, I do a lot of business, and a lot of times I'll show up to the house, and they'll say, "Wow, you know, I was expecting someone else from your team to come, not you." So, uh, you know, it's good for them to once again put my face to the name in that video. A lot of them have, like I said, already been watching the viral videos, so they they know who I am, and it's just building that top of mind consciousness and it, it's getting out in front of them that you just can't do with with text information so um you know other things you know that's that's really about it yeah what would you recommend to somebody who's thinking about doing viral and getting a legitimate 36 touch program in place what do they have to do well at to <laughs> do well with us. Like you've been a client for a long time. This is making money for you. It's working. Right. Give them advice to like actually use the program. Well, I think a lot of people are video hesitant. In other words, you know, I don't look good on video. I make mistakes, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? Sometimes it takes me 20 takes to do a video and uh, it doesn't matter all the time that you make a mistake because you guys can, you guys can cut it out and splice it over and, and fly right past the mistake a lot of the time. Um, but being video resistant is a big no-no. I mean, people see you for who you are. Nobody's perfect all the time. Um, I, I look at my hair sometimes. I've got this hair. You can see it goes in every which direction. Um, I do some videos and I think, wow, my hair looks yeah, bad. I'm in, my stair, I'm in a stair <laughs> office with a, I think a good little chair behind me. Yeah. <laughs> so you know you, you have to get past that you know you yeah. just have to get past them not good enough and and do the videos because once they get in your hands in viral's hands i mean y'all can turn something around and make it look like a million dollars 
So it doesn't really matter what it starts out as. It's the final product. And, you know, it, it, it took me a while to decide to do viral marketing. And then one day I just had a light bulb and it's just been gangbusters ever since. Dale, I appreciate the kind words. Thanks so much for your time today, man. You're welcome.